Hi, my name is Gisela Marti and I am the creative director for Tommy Taylor Nails. Today we're going to have tons of fun doing designs with a lot of colors and our guest artist is going to be of course our Gel Prisa. Gel Prisa is our newest line of 3-in-1 color polishes. We want you to expand your imagination knowing that Gel Prisa it's not just a gel polish, but also a tool for you to create awesome designs. So let's start. The first thing that I want to be sure that you guys understand, it is the three modes that the lamp that you're using, which is a UV lamp, um, has. And it has 120 seconds and 180 seconds. The third mode is right on the center. Here would be 120 seconds, which is two minutes. Here is the center, and over here is 180 seconds, which is equal three minutes. For the brittle techniques, we wanna keep it in the straight mode, which is right on the center. And these are the products that I'm going to be using for my design, Technical Brito. I'm going to be working with my Chantil Lace, my Juicy Peach, Lucky Girl, Rocking Red, Pinky Promises, Into Loving You, and Hello Sunshine. Those are my gel Prisa. Then I'm going to be using also my gel paint yellow to finish top coat with my top gel plus and to clean the designs once it's finished I'm going to be using my clean it my lint free wipe it and of course I need a dab and dish my daughter and last but not least my detailer brush when you open your gel prisa be sure that you clean totally the neck of the brush because otherwise you're going to have a huge amount of color and for this technique we need less color. The first color that I'm going to be applying it is my teal and I'm going to apply only on the top area of my nail. Very simple. See? You don't have to worry about anything else. Once you do that you're going to do a quick cure for two seconds. One, two. Once you cure that quick uh, one, two on the lamp, we're going to apply the second color. And the second color, I'm only going to apply it in one side, which would be this side. Then I'm going to do another quick cure. One, two, done. I'm going to come now with my third color and my third color is going to be the peach now you can apply any color you want i choose to apply the peach because the contrast is really really cool so i'm going to put the peach from one side to the other be sure that you cover totally everything and do another quick cure one two and out now, my fourth color, the color that I'm going to be using, is going to be a red. I'm going to be doing um, one line over here, one line over here with the red. And you can do any shape you want. This is all I'm doing with the red. Quick cure, one, two, back. And now I'm going to apply my fifth color, which is going to be the green. Now, when you are close in details like this, like I have over here a very short part, then I'm going to be working with my detailer brush. This detailer brush is really awesome because it grabs just the amount that you want to use, whatever you want to use it specifically. So I'm going to be working with my detailer brush, but I'm going to take that green, that awesome green that we have and I'm going to put it in one side 
of the nail. And I want to be sure that the green shows totally, totally, totally. If I have to do a second coat, I do a second coat. But the great thing of the gel preside is that they are so rich in color that you don't have to do the second application. So be sure you cover totally that side. Once again, put it, quick cure, one, two, back again and I do really want to see more of that green so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with my green and I'm going to apply my green exactly on that area that I placed it before that's my green right there another quick cure one two back now I have a very narrow area over here so I'm going to be working now with my detailer brush and I'm going to take my blue this is um, this combination this blue is amazing and over here you see I have on my detailer brush the amount of color that I want to place over there you know what it's too much color I have an space that I'm going to put two different colors so I'm going to take a little bit out of the color and now I'm going to apply it exactly right in here so just put it and drag it little by little you don't have to worry about being perfect because this is the great thing of the brito technique when you come with the details oh my god you bring this to to life and it's gonna be really awesome none of those little things that you did wrong is going to show I'm gonna clean my brush as you see on the towelette Again, I'm going to put some clean it and I'm going to clean it because I don't want my brush to get messed up. And I'm going to go back again to the lamp for two seconds. One and two. Now, once I do that, my last color will be the yellow. Now, let me show you something over here of what I'm going to do. I want to emphasize my yellow, making it stronger. So I'm going to be using my gel prisa yellow but i'm going to add to my gel prisa yellow i'm going to be adding the gel paint yellow so i'm going to put a dot over here of my yellow my light gel prisa and then i'm going to put a dot of my yellow gel paint and as you see the gel paint is really 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 yellow so that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for this tone over here i'm going to take a little bit of this yellow and i'm going to put it right on my gel prisa yellow look how awesome now the color it is it's more deep it's more aggressive and this is exactly what i want because the color that i'm putting there our color that are very strong so if I want a little bit more just grab a little bit more and keep mixing until you get the yellow or the color that you want to do because you can do this with any color so clean your brush back again grab your yellow and now enough for that space empty space that I have over here so fill it up you know, this technique is awesome with the gel prisa because you don't have to worry about anything. If you were using any other colors, you will have to be very, very careful. Gel prisa give you an opportunity, a leverage into the design that you probably never thought it will give you. There we go. I have my triangle. So now I'm going to fast cure one two and then meanwhile i'm going to switch my mode instead of fast cure which is in the center for my two minutes and i'm going to leave the nail to cure for two minutes okay so two minutes now i have all my colors laid out this is the fun part the fun part is when you choose which colors you're going to put for this technique. And I'm going to start with my black. Black 
always, always is going to create dramatic changes on a design. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, with my striping paint, I'm going to trace a line from one corner to the other. Then I'm going to trace another line from this all the way down. See, I'm following exactly where the colors are. Over here, from one side to the other. Then I'm gonna come over here, and I'm going to right there. And it doesn't matter if you do a curve or not, because that's your design, and that's exactly what Brito it is. It doesn't have a pattern. You create the pattern, so here we go. That's my pattern right there. Now I'm going to decide what I wanna do in this panel over here, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do some lines, and there we go. One line, two lines, three. I'm gonna put a series of thin lines. See, before the design was not, was not talking to you, now it's talking to you. Now, I'm going to choose what I want to do in this area over here, and I'm gonna come with my black again. And the, the best part of, um, of this brush, it is that it's so thin and so thin. If you see that the end of the brush, it has to be in an angle, and it has to be just touching with the tip. There we go. So what I did was I came over here from one corner and then I just went all the way straight, all the way straight. What I'm gonna do over here, well, I can come over here and trace another line and trace another line and keep tracing the lines of what I want to do over here. There we go. Now it's talking, my design is talking. What I'm gonna do on my orange part, well, if I did lines this way, uh, if I wanna do lines over here, then it has to be the opposite of this panel over here. I'm not gonna do lines, I'm going to do leaves. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do a leaf. Another one over here. And that's gonna be my second leaf. Inside of the leaf, I wanna put some lines. So you can see that there is a leaf over there. Now, let's go into my yellow. My yellow, which is over here. I'm gonna do some long lines. Instead of vertical, Like I did over here, I'm gonna do some, well actually this was horizontal, so I'm gonna do some verticals over here. See now, the design is already changing. I'm gonna choose my daughter, and this is my daughter. This is my dotting tool. It has two different sides. One side is a smaller, the other one is a little bit bigger. And dotting tool comes in different sizes. Bigger than this, and probably even smaller than this. But the one that I'm gonna be using, since I have a small spaces, is the smallest part that I have over here on my dotting tool. And I'm gonna take my little cap, and I'm going to put some white on my cap. Just a little bit, you don't need to put a lot. Just, just a touch, okay? And with the dotting tool, you're gonna touch over here. And now you can put some dots. You can put small dots. You can make big dots. Just be sure you don't make smudges. But if you do smudges, don't worry about it because it's also artistic, so you're not gonna have any problems. So there we go. That's another panel. So I completed this panel. Now I have two more panels over here, the red and the green. 
you can do on the green also lines and if I'm going to do lines I definitely will do it the opposite way of this panel so it will go this way wow that's looking great huh so now my red so what I'm gonna do on my red is very simple I'm gonna swig swiggle some lines over here instead of making straight lines I'm just going to come over here and just make some swivels. This is my design. It's not finished yet. Now I'm going to go for more details. So in this red, I need something that just bring it out. So what I'm going to do is with my detailer brush, and let me show you something so cool about this brush. Once again, I'm going to put a dot of color right here. And I'm going to be using e the color pink. This is a flat pink. And I'm going to come with my detailer. And I'm just going to grab but look how nice it is when I take my detailer and I just put it in an angle and I just touch what I'm creating is some petals, touch, petals, touch, petals. Okay, maybe you don't see it that much on that uh, little piece of plastic that I have over here. Hmm, I have a little piece of blackboard and I'm going to do it again for you. The brush look is touch and you have one petal. Touch another one, touch another one, here and here, and you have a little flower. So this is the magic of this detailer brush. You want to have one of these detailer brush at all times with you. So I'm going to do that now on the area that is red. So again, with your brush, that, 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 right there, I have a tiny flower. Hmm. I need to add more color. I want to add now yellow. Yellow is an awesome color at all times because when, it, when, it, when you have blue and you put something yellow in there, look, look at the change of that nail immediately. The yellow just brought out the blue and the black, both colors. That's all, two little lines. Now I'm going to come with my shiny striping paints. And this is the part that is going to bring out some of the lines that you have in the panels. Like for example, this pink one, I'm gonna come with a silver color and I'm going to polish right in there, right in here. See how beautiful it looks already? Mm, I'm going to put one more over here and one more over here. So now I have some shiny spots. Well, let's do the same thing with my gold. I'm going to take my gold and I'm going to analyze where do I want to put a gold. Well, believe it or not, it's going to be exactly on the yellow gold and gold just those two little details right there my green over here needs something else so on my green what I'm going to do is add a white line so I'm gonna come over here and I'm just going to add a line and add a line the rest is going to be dots. I'm going to put some dots. 
you know, dots is something that no matter what, whenever you put a dot, you have an incredible design. It just make a finishing, it make a closure, and um, it makes your design looks really, really awesome. So we go back again over here, put a little bit more of that white so I can grab with my daughter. And here's my daughter. I'm gonna use the small size, remember. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna start with my dot. And I'm gonna do a follow series of dot all the way to the end until it gets smaller. See? This is my Brito design. This is my awesome Brito design. On this panel over here of the orange, hmm, I want to do something dramatic there. I, wanna, I don't want to leave it just like that. I want to be sure that the leaf, we can see it. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do a very thin line and a very thin line. Again, over here, another very thin line. And I want to be sure that I emphasize the the part of the leaf. There we go. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna top coat all my designs because I don't want this when the clients go home and wash their hands to wash out. I wanna be sure that it's totally protected. So what I'm gonna be using is gonna be my Top Gel Plus, okay? My Top Gel Plus is a top coat, it's a UV top coat can be used with LED, but also can be used with the UV light. And I'm gonna take my top coat and I'm going to polish every one of my panels. And as you see, look, when I'm putting that Top Gel Plus, how awesome it comes to life. Everything comes to life. Once I top coat it, I'm going to cure for two minutes. So the next step that I'm going to do is clean my brush. I want to be sure that every one of my tools are totally clean. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take my dap and dish that has some clean it inside and I'm going to clean my brush. So I'm going to dip. Once I dip, I want to come over here into my wipe it and I want to go all the way in rotation. It's very important, the rotation, because if you do like this, your, your brush is gonna be messed up. You need that point. The point of the brush is very important. So again, I'm going to dip it, and once I come over here, I'm going to go all the way, twisting all the way around so I can have that point back to where it's supposed to be. So for my next design, it's ready. So my nail is totally finished. Now what I'm gonna do with a wipe it and some clean it, I'm going to clean the surface of my nail. I wanna be sure that all the tackiness is totally gone. And here it is, my Brito nail. With this Brito technique that I showed you, you don't have to use seven colors. I did use seven colors because it was my design. But you can use two colors, three colors, you can do half of the nails in patterns, you can do the whole nail in patterns. It will depend on which one is your design. The important thing it is that each one of the patterns that you choose to do has to be a different color and different lines. I am sure that there is an artist in you. Every one of us has an artist. All what you have to do is unleash it let it go, get wild, and be creative. All what you need is to have the right tools, and that's exactly what we have, the right tools for you. But hey, if you have a design or a technique that you would like to be featured in one of our future videos, feel free to do it. Send me a picture to creativedirector at TammyTaylorNails.com. Again, creative director at TammyTaylorNails.com. And who knows, you can be the next talk of the town. <laughs>